what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? By the light, I know this vile demon. There were many that bore me that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. Even my skills have been unable to fully heal Farnham. Oh.
spirits of the dead are now avenged. Whoa, what can I do for you? My friend, stay a while, stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? The 
village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albrecht, was kidnapped. The king went into, a, went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill, forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in, buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed, cursed form. Well, what can I do for you? I made, I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. Oh, I even crafted a, crafted a huge two-handed sword of the finest mithril for him, as well as a field crown to match. Oh, I still can't believe how he believe how he died. But it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people, the people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so, so far from the light. As Leoric had always been the holiest of men, only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. <laughs> 